Tishi landed two very hard punches at the end of the round. Round three, more JJ. JJ by unanimous decision. Jose Aldo versus Jeremy Stevens at Featherweight. Aldo, nice inside calf sweep. So, Aldo, they were kind of like slowly picking some shots, even though the range was close in the first like minute and a half, which was kind of cool. And um, Jose was kind of doing a left leg Muay Thai uh, toe touch. And as that knee came up, it went, uh, he then inside calf kick sweeped, swept open the base of Stevens, left long hook, barely land, big right hook. Really cracked him. That was really sweet, guys. Something I've had in videos, my seminar videos. Again, going back years and years and years. Um, this is something that everyone would miss, commentators would miss. But yes, how to sweep that open, open up the base, where the face comes forward. Bam, bam. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So, um, then, but then uh, Stevens landed a big uppercut and then kind of in the clinch some baby uppercuts. That started a rock, and, and Aldo looked pretty dazed. It looked like it was going to be Stevens' night. Aldo stays in the pocket, um, and then he um, he kind of sees it, and he kind of sets up that fake overhand to left liver shot, and it kind of wasn't there. And then boom again, he bounces fake overhand left liver shot right like low kick. Um, I've had a video on that for years. Um, he nailed that left liver shot. So I actually threw the right hand the second time. Um, but then landed that left liver shot, bang, drops uh, Stevens down. Stevens cringing in pain and, and just kind of stays on him, floats in different positions, looks for the back for a second. But just hammer fist, baby. Hammer fist, hammer fist, hammer fist is the way to go. Gets that TKO. Congratulations, um, Jose Aldo. You owe me a cheeseburger when I come to Brazil. How about that? And bodyguard me. And, uh, you know. Make sure I don't get shot by a guy with a tour. So you got a 50-50 chance of someone robbing you, whether he shoots you or the gun shoots himself. Anyway. Eddie Alvarez versus Dustin Poirier, too. Uh, round one, pretty even. Uh, Eddie early in the round, Poirier late in the round. Eddie in the inside with boxing, the body, Poirier late. Um, distance with uh, left cross, left straight. Round two, Poirier jumps guard, guillotine against cage. Looks pretty tight. Alvarez has to kind of hop from side to side and kind of gets through his head, hops to the other side, and then transitioning and boom, then then grabs it with his, his arm and legs and mounts uh, originally Kawajiri Crusher style before Aoki style, before everyone else has started doing it, style there against the cage. Um, so really nice. And they end back up. Eddie doubles and partial back take with face crank. So Eddie looking for that face crank, kind of like an exorcist. Kind of like, and Frankie did do the exorcist in the last seconds against Cub Swanson, so we kind of know about that there. And then um, he's mounted against the cage, like in the video game, in one of the video games, I think. And then Eddie, Eddie, Eddie throws a 12-6 elbow to the collarbone. It doesn't even break his collarbone. No one keyed. Boards weren't breaking. Skulls weren't split. And yet the ref has to stand him up because of the rule. So no 12-6 elbows, which totally cost him the fight because he was dominant in amount. Things were looking good for Eddie. I mean, his tan was on point, little orangish, but maybe he's making a political statement. Maybe he's making America great again. I don't know. His eyebrows were, were, were you know, trimmed or waxed nicely. I've asked him about his plucking eyebrows before, you know, personally. I don't. I'm a wolf man. What do I care? But, um, but then, guess what? Uh, Dustin gets back up. Hey, they start back up because the ref Eddie's bobbing, changing levels for body shots. He hits him with the right to the body. Poirier reads this. Poirier times a counter, left knee. And then that strikes a 56 strike blitz. Bow, bow, over and over against the cage. And he's quite not out. He's still covering it. He's trying to tough it out. He's turning sideways and he's almost out. But then Eddie flares back. And then he's still covering kind of. And then 56. It looks like a video game. Dustin Poirier back on top of the world, baby. Dustin Poirier calling out a number one contender shot. Dustin Poirier deserving a number one contender shot. Dustin Poirier, you know. Maybe he gets in there, you know, if we can't make the, you know, we can't, Connor can't hold up things forever. If we don't get Connor Khabib soon, by the end of the year or mid-January at the latest, then, um, you know, let's, let's get, let's get Dustin and, and, and Tony fighting, you know, let's get him on the save card. Let's put him in doing the first Moscow card September 15th. Um, will they do a big one if that is successful and there's no, uh, 
um, shenanigans. Anyway, guys, I'm Dan the Wolfman. Hope you enjoyed it. I think I'm at my 25 minute limit. Please subscribe, please thumbs up, please share, please sing the blues, please dance the jig, have a good time, and I'll catch you on the flip side.